So let's let's talk about two things. One, it sounds like the comparison operator, the equality operator, is the thing that you regret. So maybe can Make, you making it sloppy? Yeah, making it sloppy. So, w- what is the biggest thing you regret in those ten days, and what is the biggest thing you're proud of? So that that, that making it sloppy came after the ten days, and my lesson there, which I've tweeted, is when people come to you saying, "Can you please make it sloppy or add this cute feature?" The answer should be no. And I should have known that because I think Nicholas Viert, one of my heroes, said the essence of design is leaving things out. Um, but during the ten days, I also, like I said, I was in such a hurry, I left out garbage collection. Came back to haunt me, but I got reference counting in in time that people uh, weren't running out of memory right away on on long lived JavaScript. Wait, what happens when you don't have garbage collection and you have objects? Well, you just run out of memory, uh, <laughs> and you know, I love it. it, it at first, it, you write a short script and the page doesn't last long or it doesn't do a lot, and it's okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. But if you're writing a game or something and you're doing event based allocation, you run out of memory. Got and it. this was noticed in the summer of 1995, and people were like, "What's going on?" I, oh, yeah, I gotta get, I gotta better go back and do reference counting. And then the ref- problem with reference counting is you're writing the language in the runtime in C, an unsafe language. And if you're reference counting and you overflow the counter, you mismanage it so it goes high, it gets stuck high, you leak memory again and you run out. If you underflow it, you pre memory that's still in use. Mm-hmm. And even then, we knew what all the, the security hackers came to know that you therefore have a potentially a remote code execution vulnerability. Because this was before things like, um, non-executable um, heap memory and um, stack defenses against taking over memory. So if you can, from the the remote side, write some HTML and JavaScript that just happens to exploit a bug in memory safety, like it causes JavaScript to underflow a reference counter, and the script still has its hands on that object, and it's trying to call a method on it, and there's some kind of lookup function table in the object, but you've managed to stuff the heap with strings that forge their own lookalike for the function table, you can call some other code. And this was a problem right away. So security, you know, JavaScript upped the ante. Java had this problem too, but in its own VM. And it it just was, you know, a separate headache for Sun to worry about. We had this problem in Netscape right away. So Netscape 2 came out after my 10 days and after these, you know, follow on work to embed um, JavaScript better in the browser and mm-hmm. to add garbage or collection through reference counting, really, I, I call it reference counting, and get it shipped. We had a bunch of dot releases where we fixed security bugs like maniacs. <laughs> but what is the thing you're, you know, when you sit back on a porch and just look out into the sunset, what are you most proud of from those 10 days? I think the first class functions shines. I think, if, especially since Java didn't have it and it was somewhat unusual. So Scheme made it in somehow uh, at in the spirit, end of the day. In spirit. Yeah. I mean, people complain because Scheme has, you know, minimalism. It has, you know, six or seven special forms. It has hygienic macros. It has call CC. It has sort of a beautiful, uh, complete... Um, set of forms to make the Lambda calculus pleasant to use in, in practice. Um, and JavaScript is, you know, kind of a multi-paradigm or shambolic. 